Bonjour. Bonjour. We are in Francais, Paris to be exact. Oh, Paris. The city of love, or at least what we'd hoped for. Our first day was a whirlwind and it burned us out pretty quickly. Is that how you're supposed to wear it? Imagine sharing a little smooch on the top of the Eiffel Tower. Getting lost in the eyes of the Mona Lisa. And biting into your first perfectly flaky Parisian crepe. Hashtag oh, oh crepe. Sounds pretty darn romantic, right? Well, it was until we were over it. Let's just say Paris was amazing. Our stay was absolutely dreamy. The food was bone apple tea. And we cannot wait to go back just do things a bit differently. So stay with us because we're gonna show you exactly what you can do in one day, but trust us, you'd be better off spreading it out. And now that we already missed our first train, it's time to leave London. And next stop, have you? Don't go to France, go to Ohio. Promoted by Ohio Tourism. Bonjour. Hey, merci beaucoup. Is that French? Bonjour. Bonjour. We are in Francais, Paris to be exact. Just arrived at our Airbnb. This Airbnb is freaking, Cute. no, it's freaking adorable. Yes. Cute doesn't even describe it. Ador adorable. Adorable. Sure. There's actually a balcony. Okay, this is the balcony from our room. Bonjour. Bonjour. Here's the little room. We've got some books over there, some yoga mats. Ah. Hey. Uh, so you have your shower, your waterfall shower, your sink. And here's technically the front door. Here. In this hallway. Here's the second bedroom. Filled with tons of books and a little desk. We've already cozied in. And the third bedroom. Has a tub. The only toilet in the house. <laughs> in a tub. So it's there. And nice little cozy. And look at the view from the other bedrooms. So it's a every little courtyard. bedroom has like a little window to and open up and see a view. Now to the living room. We're playing CDs right now. Oh yeah, it's Mozart. They still listen to CDs in Paris. Like new American music. <laughs> Is the living room? Any um, place. A little dining table. Oh, you could and your chair. the kitchen. I know. Down here for breakfast. But I think we all want to eat a croissant ca cafe out on the little balcony. Which the balcony? Oh my gosh. Mm. Balcony, we could sit right here. Dang. So we're just gonna get settled in, and then I think we're gonna go grab something to eat. Um, and then I don't know what else we're doing today, but this place is awesome, and the lighting is beautiful here. This little elevator was pretty crazy. It's like two. It's like wow. It's the elbows. I'll, I'll I'll just walk down. No, I want to walk. No, I want to walk. No. <laughs> it's as the elbows in here. <laughs> We're going down. It goes right through this stairwell. Oh my god, do we see her? Oh, yeah, like that. Can I get out? <laughs> 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 <It's okay>. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a trip shit. Where is she? We should go down with our butt cheeks again. Ms. Cozy, Ms. Cozy. Jesus, I'm oh, trapped. Oh, no. I swear it is. I apologize, I'm still speaking English. I did Rosetta Stone on the plane, but it hasn't kicked in yet. I did Rosetta Stone on the plane, but it hasn't kicked in yet. Also, um, say we're on floor five, but actually we're probably on floor six because we also learned from Emily in Paris that 
the first floor is just ground then the actual first floor is one so and we're lucky because a lot of places don't have elevators it has a yes. tiny one but oh, oh my god carrying our luggage up that would have been a pain Keep calling it. Kazakhstan, <laughs> King Klingenberg. <laughs> I'm gonna go chill with some pigeons. Yeah, I know there's tons of pigeons in there. People just sitting with them. How do you say ranch dressing in French? Okay, we are at La Caro. Uh, our Airbnb owner gave us a, it's very authentic, so. It's a snail. It's like a sea snail. I get snail in my hand. Does it slap? Is it, is it hot? No, it's cold. It's good. It tastes like. What's it called? There's a tiny little. I think, well. Don't you. No, Lindsay. That literally crunched on her. No, I'm good, dude. <laughs> Well, and Lindsay got a. I literally heard it crunch. Me and Abby got croque monsieur, which I believe is a ham sandwich with fries. Well, I mean, avec frites. So we'll see when it comes out. Oh, and they are also. We were all good, like me, Abby, John. And I don't know. Were you gonna get a cheeseburger? I wasn't. Okay. Okay, whatever. They're acting like they weren't gonna get cheeseburgers, but a lot of us were gonna get cheeseburgers. And she came out right away. She said, "I just want to let you know right away that we're out of cheeseburgers." Petting it? Are you gonna name it? Feel it. It's her sandwich. Abby is fearless. <laughs> <laughs> nah, son. Right? It's hard to place. There's no more water. There's no more water. Here, I have some wine. You want to beer? Don't make it sink. It's true in the wild. Keep it together. Check it. Check it. Check it. Did you try it? Yeah. yeah he is. Oh my god. Okay. It's like, I think first part of it is like life is about to come full circle. I'm about to have a French fry in France. Mm. Mm, a free, oh my gosh, French frites. And this is the croque monsieur. Is it good? Is it good? All right, awesome. How's everybody else's so far? So good. What'd you get? You got rum and chili. Rum and chili. Is it good? Everybody like it? That might have been the first meal I got full on. That was really good. It was really neat. Very neat in there. I wish. Oh shoot! I meant to get footage inside. Oh well. But it was. It was really cute. Michael, are you gonna go? I'm gonna go take a crap. They're watching Devil's Pot up there, we which just we just watched before we left. I know. Yeah. Well, they got lays here. They didn't have lays. Over there, ketchup flavor. I was gonna get these, but I don't think I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this Airbnb stay reminds me of where they stayed in Italy on the Jersey Shore, just like. Yeah, you guys all have the gate code. This is kind of spooky. <laughs> the, uh, the stairs are trumpets. Yeah. We're gonna go back up to our room and tomorrow going to the Louvre and seeing the Mona Lisa and other things. Stay tuned. Bonjour. Is it bonjour? Bonjour. Bonjour. We first stop at the Louvre. Bonjour. You look mad. I have a serious headache. Buongiorno. We're at the Louvre this morning. This is where we're starting our day first stop. We're going in. Our tickets are at nine. So I don't know where we need to go. I think we're waiting in line even though we have reservations. It is like Eurotrip.
So, you guys want to stay here? Should we go check out the huge line at the Eiffel Tower? Except not as long, but it's pretty. It goes from here all the way around to the other side. And loops around there. It's really creeping me out. Who, Robot Man? So we were not in the correct line. There is a line for people with reservations, so they waited in line for us. So me, John, and Abby went and got some photos, which are sick. But we're going about to see the uh, Mona Lisa and other pieces of art that I might recognize. Yeah, I wonder how many Oxy recognize too. We're heading to the Mona Lisa first, since that's the longest line. Hopefully, the line won't be as long. Seafood plate. Seafood plate. him to clean up the coffee grounds. <laughs> it's true. I called Abby's name for help. <laughs> We're on level one right now on our way to the Mona Lisa and honestly I kind of thought that we'd kind of rush through but I am blown away with like this especially the size. These things are monsters. Yes. Wait yeah. how big you think that painting is? Who the uh the naked guy? These are absolutely it's incredible in here to be honest with you. And I'm not like a huge, like I, I enjoy seeing artwork done, but man, this is crazy. This is a, a deep appreciation. Very much so. That's Abby fleeing the scene. I do wish that we had the audio, how people are listening to like the history of like the different sculptures and paintings and pieces. That would have been really nice. Just a map. So if you do this, do the audio guide. That's like real. That actually happened. That's John the Baptist. Oh, he did, really? yeah, he did get uh, beheaded because he betrayed Solomon. Are you tearing up about it? Yes. Okay, we're, oh my God, I see it. We're getting in line for the Mona Lisa right now. And I can see it. And all of it's 12 by 16 glory. <laughs> so the reason as to why the Mona Lisa is so popular is because it was actually stolen. By Gru. Not bad. No, but it wasn't that popular back then, but they were like looking for this painting and they put it in all the newspapers So like everybody constantly was seeing this painting and it became kind of popular from that Like have you seen this missing painting and then that's where it kind of gained popularity fast back with Abby <laughs> Oh, hey Yeah. We just saw the Mona Lisa. Sad thing is, everybody just wants to get a picture of it. Not that it's that breathtaking, but it's... And it's so quick, you don't even really get to, like, yeah, absorb it. Yeah, just rush through, but I just want to, like, actually look at it for a second without having to pull out every single camera, even though Abby's recording this. <laughs> but she already looked at it. Yeah, but we're looking at it right now. Now we're on level zero, which it looks like it's all like sculptures. Truthfully, I don't know. <laughs> I don't either, but so far, once we got to level zero, it seems to be all sculptures, so we shall see. Imagine being able to uncover these. He went from hero to zero. Bless my soul. Kirk was on a road. Just like that. These remind me of Hercules plates in the movie. We're in the like the Roman section of all the sculptures and paintings. And it says right here, this is the Venus de Mi Milo. Venus de Milo. Venus de Milo. That's all what the Louvre used to be. It was the foundation. And I guess it used to be a castle, which kind of explains the uh, some of the structure. 
That yeah, is that's... so cool. I had no idea. Oh, no, that's very actually, yeah, very awesome. Truthfully, recommendation: do a guided tour or an audio tour. Yeah, audio and tour. And spend all day here because there's way too much that we're probably not going to be able to it see. It depends how much time you have, whether you throw that recommendation out or not. I'm just saying, like, if you have the time, you will easily spend all day here. If you have the time, yes. Right. Yeah. Here's the original Instagram right here. Instead of double tapping, they double chiseled. They double chiseled. It's Fiona's ancestors. Big sarcophagus. Yeah, whatever. I can't. That thing in there is a big sarcophagus, and it's filled with mummies. The salt turns the bodies into mummies. The salt turns the bodies into mummies. Rochelle put an air tag in John's pocket okay. because we've already lost him like four times. <laughs> oh, four is like the minimum. Oh yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> Bonsoir. 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 She touched the butt. Uh, bonjour et enchanté. We're done with the Louvre. Really unbelievable. Like, Exceeded my expectations. I thought it was just a bunch of paintings, to be honest with you, and the Mona Lisa. But here we are. I don't know if we have these waffles at home, but they're freaking good, aren't they? Yeah. They have like sugar drinks in them. And the cold brew comes in. All the cold drinks come in hot cups. And they don't take your Starbucks app, so don't reload your card right before you pay. Then you pay it double. All right, and right now we are in, we're actually back in Central Park, New York. We're at the Apple store. I had to get a battery. Um, just kidding, oh my God, we're actually at the Louvre. No, it, it really does remind me of the Apple store in New York City. It gives off those vibes. No, because you go down the stairs and everything just like that. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But no, it's not. Buongiorno, mi scusi, mi scusi for the false fact. I wish they weren't so expensive, those are awesome. Just super cool. I don't know the Lisa deck. Look how cool those are. Okay, hey, we just finished the Louvre. Very, very awesome. You could really yes. spend all day there, honestly. We were there's so much, so, so much to do. Much. So you might need to book out more time if you want to see it all. But right now we just lined up on the little podium square thing there to do the little basic. Now we're going to Palais Royal. Palais Royal, and then also we're hoping to see Savoie. So it should be very close to there. So that's what we're hoping to do. All right, get down on video. Yeah, get down. Montage. Right, this is the Palace Royale right here. This is one of the art installations. And then right over here is actually a spot on Emily in Paris where Mindy meets Emily for the first time sitting in one of these benches over here. So we're gonna go check this out. It's right over here at this fountain. Right here is where uh, Emily met Mindy. And she was like, are you French? She goes, oh, do I look French? 
Because now I was just trying to be polite. You actually look like you're from Ohio, but she says Indiana. <laughs> but we look like we're from Ohio. Yeah, this is also in Palace Royale, so that art installation was right over there. And then here's a fountain, but I don't know too much history on it, but I do know that it was in Emily in Paris, so that's why I wanted to see it. And Savoir is pretty close to here, isn't it? Kinda, yeah. Three minutes? Oh my gosh, we made it to Savoir. We made it to Savoir. There's no sign for Savoir. Whoa. This is awesome. <laughs> and the cute little thing is they have a little cafe you can eat at. As you're going to all your different locations and you're famished, you can go there and have a little bite to eat. That is good. Is it famous? Yeah. It's delicious. I already tried the truffle pasta. It was so freaking, like seriously, so I never had truffle pasta. It was so good. Might have to eat it with a fork, but it's good. So what do you think of lunch? I thought it was good, and I really loved the environment. It was super cute in there. Yeah, the food was really good. Um, I really enjoyed the truffle pasta. I wish we would have got two, because the pizza was good, but... Yeah. I would recommend getting the truffle pasta for sure. Oh my gosh, that was a wild Uber drive. Our Uber driver freaking like dozed off. He dozed <laughs> off and like freaking rammed a car in front of us. It was very light, but like, yeah, I didn't know he fell asleep. I said he freaking dozed off and hit it. We are here, guess where we're at, guess where we're at. It's the first time we saw it. This is incredible, you ready? You ready? Oh my gosh, we have tickets for 4.30 and it's 4.27. Hey, how many, how many stairs? I don't know. 300 plus. Okay, 300 stairs to the top. We're gonna hoof it. Are you gonna have a Marilyn Monroe moment? How many steps? 328 steps to the top. That's 32 stories to you and me. Oh my gosh, I've been racing this. <laughs> first floor. There's a lot of steps. Made to the first floor. Talk me into it. Auto. Abby fell walking up the stairs. When you're parched, only going up one floor, <laughs> you can get yourself a drink at the little cafe. Okay, so we were mistaken. It's 300 and some steps to the first floor, but total is 600 and... 69. What? I'll forever remember that. 669. But look at this view. Going all the way up to the top would have been incredible. 
incredible. But yeah. for the second floor, the the top floor was sold out, so we couldn't. But for the second floor, this view is pretty incredible. It's still. very incredible. We are sitting right here. The, the view actually is incredible. I thought the first floor was amazing, but once we got to the top, you can really tell. Oh yeah. They have a little gift shop at the top. I should get this for a. Best content? Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. I wonder if I should get the Mona Lisa dabbing shirt. Probably worth it. I'd be shopping for a baguette. Is that how you supposed to wear it? <laughs> I don't know. Is it called a baguette? Beret. Beret. Your hands are on this thing. One. <laughs> we hurry up. <laughs> yeah. Hurry up, with, hurry up with my damn croissants. Abby actually got one here. She bought a two dollar one from Shein, and it looks like a two dollar one from Shein. Yes. This one's definitely a lot thicker, better than what I have. Yeah. And the guy's like, he 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 helped Abby put it on right. Do you need some help? Yeah, Abby, like, Abby was struggling. She had it on backwards and flat like a pancake. <laughs> <laughs> now we are in Champ de Mar. We're going to chill and look at the Eiffel Tower. I apologize. I'm still speaking English. I did Rosetta Stone on the plane, but it hasn't kicked in yet. They say it's supposed to happen immediately. I know, and it's not working for me. I did Rosetta Stone on the plane, but it hasn't kicked in yet. I've used that somewhere else, but is it? So we're just chilling here. So we did climb to the top. Well, the second level. We literally have the Eiffel Tower right here. I know. Hey, we're not looking at it. All right, so we went to the top. Well, we went to the second floor, and the view was awesome. Actually, yes. looking up, it doesn't look that high up. No. But the views were really, really good. The best part is to get all the way up to the top, but that was all sold out. Yeah. So the next best option was the second floor. So we had to climb 669 stairs. John's taking macro photos of the plants behind me. We're just chilling, but um, yeah, so it's cool that that's, uh, that was actually built after the Statue of Liberty, but it was built by the same guy and it was a statue of liberty was a gift from france to the united states but um but the guy who uh built the eiffel tower he actually made a like an apartment for himself up at the very tippy top of the very it very tippy top and he lived there for oh a while. and this was supposed to be destroyed after 20 years but the guy who built it put a radio transmitter up there then the government decided it was too valuable to destroy so they kept it up and here it is and we are sitting right in front of it right now it's just so weird that it's behind us it, and actually just realized we're not even facing it right now for some reason but the shades right here so that's why okay well we walked across the Seine River and we actually have the best friends they did this they did video for us and they didn't even complain I'm actually they didn't complain out loud hey John really nailed these pictures like a split hog I think he's enjoying it too all right so yeah we got a we got a cute little photo right over here um, Eiffel Tower, unreal that we're standing right here. But we're going to the Arc de Triomphe right now. We're gonna Uber there because it's kind of far. Yeah. Everything's so far in Paris. They don't depict that in Emily in Paris. Cummy says it's a small little town. It doesn't feel like it. No, she's lying. Nothing has been very convenient. It's very rushed to see everything, especially if you're trying to cram it in a short amount of time. So well, in four days is a lot. Well, we're doing everything today, it seems like. So. But yeah, we're gonna Wait, head there the now. <laughs> no cap. <laughs> You should retire all that. But my phrases are b -b 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 bussin'. I hated it the day you started doing it. She's a runner, she's a track star. Oh, wait, wait, yeah, bring that closer. All right, now back it up. Oh, what? Oh my god. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. Dude, look at that. We First crepe. Strawberry Nutella crepe. Hashtag oh, oh crepe. First bite of crepe, is it good? Oh. Is it good? 
don't think I, don't think I got any tell in that. Right now we are in front of the Arc de Triomphe. We made it to the top of the Arc de Triomphe. You cannot there's no elevator up. So, doing Eiffel Tower, then coming and doing this right after, in the Louvre, but yeah, but I'm saying we had to climb to the top of the Eiffel Tower, then climb all the way up to the Arc de Triomphe. Oh my gosh, it is. Don't do it the same day, unless you're a freaking runner or a track star. I'm like legit sweating now. So climb to the top and get a picture of yourselves. Looking pretty. Oh my word, we finally made it. The That's climb is hard. But the view's great. Life's a climb, but the view is great. So after the Battle of um, Austerlitz, hope I said that right, uh, Napoleon I was so pleased with his men that he kind of wanted to give them a gift that every time people would look at it, they'd be like, what a brave man. So they built this and it actually took 30 years for it to be built. I think it was like 1806 to 1836 is when this was constructed. How many stairs? Oh, 284 brutal stairs. So we've done 669 plus 280, whatever this is. It's been a brutal day. All right, so we are ending the vlog today. If you want to see three main things in Paris, like we the did. The Louvre, Eiffel Tower, and Arc de Triomphe. Three of the main things. Yeah, like, if you wanted to see those three things in, in one, one day, day, you can do it. You absolutely can knock yourself out, but you're gonna wear yourself out, and I feel like that's we're, where we're at. Honestly, we're all spent. It's been a rough day. So we're ending it, trying to chill, Yeah. drinking some rosé and some charcuterie boards and a whole bunch of snacks. Yeah, so my advice is if you if you just want to see everything, see it, but if you want to live in the moment and actually take it in, I truthfully remember it, but I'm not, I don't remember like... Like pace it out, spread it out. You gotta pace it out, yeah. If you got a couple days, please space that two out Two to three days. days for sure. For sure, but thanks for watching this vlog. We'll see you in the morning. We're doing a food tour and we're going to the catacombs, the catacombs tomorrow. Yeah, that'll be cool. Um, but to, the morning's up in the air. We're hoping to see some Emily and Paris spots, so stay oh, tuned. Oh, oh. And eat some pastries. Yeah. Like some good French pastries. Oh, and hopefully um, her croissant that she got. Oh, croissant. Hey, maybe, maybe. Well, if we see those places, that's what we're doing. Yeah. Okay, but hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like, hit that subscribe. And we will see you again tomorrow in Paris. Bonne nuit! Bonne nuit! Time to wind the vlog on the train and say, Bonjour, no. I'm a school, I'm a school. But I haven't been able to. It's really quiet in here except the kid from Polar Express is behind us and stop talking. I'm not starting a video in here. <laughs> there was a light. Yeah, so let's stop. Let's just go into our room. Do I wine teeth? Maybe we'll see her walk by. This is no. crazy, it goes right through the stairwell. There they are. We are uh, first morning in Paris. We'll see you there. Bonjour! Is it bonjour? Oh. Bonjour? I was thinking about this morning. What is good morning? Whoa. I don't know. Hey. Bonjour. We are first stop at the Louvre. Look at this. You look mad. I have a serious headache. Buongiorno. We're at the Louvre this morning. Cap it. Come hey, on. No cap. Hey, oh, I dabbed in. Dabbed by the Eiffel Tower. We just got a crepe. Hold on. What? Just wait, there's no staring at us. Okay, we just got our first crepe. Strawberry Ash banana. Oh, ho, ho, we, we. Please be sure to join us on the next vlog for Patty Part 2. We, we.